and then you get a connection request from the computer you would accept it and then you're on hello ladies and gentlemen hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the tech tinktronics channel where today we tinker and you learn what we are doing today is we are using XSplit and OBS to generate this webcam image. It's pretty neat. It's pretty easy to do. If you go to XSplit, this, what this does is like it removes and replaces the background with a green screen. It's really easy to do. The app does it. That's what the app is doing for me right now. What we'll do is we'll search for XSplit VCam. And there you see, if you, if you search for XFIT VCAM, it's, that's how much it is. It, it's, it's worth it. It's totally worth it if you do this. I mean, I tried it with like a lower quality webcam. At first, I wasn't really happy with it. And then now I'm actually like using, I decided to try it with the phones and see what we could do. And it works. Now let's get into how we hook it up. I will demonstrate the part that we do on here. You would just go to your XSplit app and then you would just select the device that you would want to go. But there are things that you have to do on the device itself, such as download the app and you know maybe change a few settings and I can demonstrate that too. So I connected both the Android and the iPhone. And both were really easy to do. The iPhone, all you have to do is could connect your iPhone's lightning to USB cable to both your iPhone and computer. That's one way of doing it. The way I choose to do it is Wi-Fi. On Android, it's really simple. It's even simpler than this guide. I decided with the Android phone because it has, it's an older phone and it has, it's just, it's like lower quality Wi-Fi for some reason. And I had to connect it using the USB cable. But everything runs through this app and you select what device you want currently. As you can see, I'm on the iPhone. And then you can pull it into OBS Studio. But if you, uh, you edit your video capture devices, video edit properties, and you would select the device, it would show up here on that in OBS. But you would start these things first before you get into OBS so that they're all loaded and everything. And then you get a connection request from the computer, you would accept it. And then you're on. I could maybe show you the screen. And then you can see, like, I'm connected. That's basically it. That's pretty neat. The settings are pretty much right out of the book, you know what I mean? And I, I didn't have to touch anything. I uh, just made a few changes and that's really it. 